The Salton Sea geothermal field in California potentially holds enough lithium for all of North America's electric car and battery storage needs. So is this the answer? And what actually is going on here? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Great to have you here on the channel. Welcome to all your new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. We've done a thousand videos over the past eight months. So thank you for subscribing to the channel and for supporting the channel. Thank you for jumping on Patreon and supporting us that way, or simply through liking, commenting on the videos. I really appreciate all of your support. It means a lot. Now, what is happening here in this amazing place in North America? The Salton Sea geothermal field in California potentially holds enough lithium to meet all of America's domestic battery needs with even enough left over to export some of it. But how much of that lithium can actually be extracted in a sustainable and environmentally friendly way? And how long will the resource last? These are just a few of the questions that researchers are hoping to answer in a new project sponsored by the US Department of Energy. Now the US Department of Energy says there are currently 11 commercial plants at the Salton Sea field producing geothermal energy a clean, renewable form of energy in which hot fluids are pumped up from deep underground and the heat is then converted to electricity. Normally, the cooled fluid would simply be re-injected underground, but the idea is to first extract the lithium from the brine before injecting it back underground. With the push by California and many other states and countries to expand adoption of electric vehicles, the demand for batteries and the lithium needed to make batteries will skyrocket. Battery deployment this year was 115% more than the previous year. That's huge. With nearly 1.2 million in support from DOE's Geothermal Technologies Office, scientists from Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory or Berkeley Lab, UC Riverside and Geologic at Geothermal Inc., will work together to quantify and characterize the lithium in this hypersaline geothermal reservoir located far beneath the surface of Earth near the Salton Sea in Imperial County. The project is the first comprehensive scientific effort to map out California's so-called lithium valley and attempt to gain a detailed understanding of the mineral-rich underground brine at the Salton Sea geothermal system. Now, obviously, the idea here is to do what America has done with energy, become energy independent. Of course, currently America, North America in particular, doesn't have anywhere near what they could claim as true energy independence because what we need for that to really happen is enough lithium to build all the batteries that America needs, right? Not just North America, I'm talking about not just the US, I'm talking about Canada, Alaska, the United States, Mexico, you know, the entire continent. Obviously, there's a lot of lithium in South America, but Currently, very little is being actually produced or mined in the US. Now, using an electron microscope and other advanced analytical tools, for example, they hope to learn the mineral sources of lithium and whether the rocks will recharge the brine with lithium after it has been extracted from the produced fluids. The project team are also investigating potential environmental impacts to quantify how much water and chemical usage is needed for lithium extraction air quality during the extraction process and potential induced seismicity from the associated geothermal energy production. We're excited to fund Berkeley Lab to develop this rich and detailed analysis of the lithium resource potential at the Salton Sea. This project will provide critical insights about the subsurface that will help us secure a domestic lithium supply chain using the most environmentally responsible data-driven pathway said Alexis McKittrick, Program Manager for Hydrothermal Resources Geothermal Technologies Office. So as you can see, there's still a long way to go before we can actually work out whether or not we can extract all that lithium. The Salton Sea Geothermal System is the primary potential geothermal resource for lithium in the United States, and it's a world-class resource, said Pat Dobson, the Berkeley Lab scientist who is leading the project. He said, there is a wide range of estimates in terms of the size of the resource and also not a great understanding of where the lithium actually comes from. The rate at which it would decline over time with extraction of lithium from the geothermal brines and whether it would be replenished by the remaining lithium in the host rocks. That's important. 
Currently, most of the world's lithium supply is either mined from open pit mines, which are common in China and here in Australia, or it's extracted from saline deposits or Salt Lake Flats in South America. Lithium is obtained from these huge deposits. The largest saline located in Bolivia is the size of the big island of Hawaii, simply by pumping up the shallow groundwater and letting it sit for a year or two while the sun evaporates the water, leaving the lithium behind. Both of these methods, though, have serious environmental issues associated with them. We think geothermal lithium is one of the least environmentally impactful ways of obtaining lithium. So that's the good news. This could be a much better option than the way it's currently being done. This is what Dobson said. He's an expert in geothermal energy and a key contributor to Berkeley Labs Lithium Resource Research and Innovation Center. We want to understand how to mitigate any environmental side effects to make it even more benign. In other words, they're looking at how can we basically have almost no impact on the environment. Is that possible? Might be. The Saudi Arabia of lithium. The potential size of the lithium resource at the Salton Sea is staggering. Governor Gavin Newsom recently called California the Saudi Arabia of lithium. And the state established the Lithium Valley Commission last year to research and write a report on the actual opportunities there. UC Riverside geochemist Michael McKibben, who has been studying the Salton Sea geothermal field since the 1970s, agrees with the incredible potential. He said, if you do a back of the envelope calculation, you can convince yourself there's somewhere between one and six million metric tons of lithium in that field alone, he said. That would be the largest brine source of lithium in the world, period, bigger than any individual South American saline deposit. So it's a big, big number. And it means the potential is there for a gain. Back of the envelope calculations, something like 50 to 100 years worth of lithium production. Those figures are insane. McGibbon, a professor emeritus, and Marie Jo Browns, an assistant professor in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences, lead the UC Riverside effort in this project right now. Browns, a petrologist by training, will use instrumentation to map out where the lithium is located within the reservoir, rocks, and what form it's in. I find it kind of ironic that a former petrologist, so someone working in the industry of, you know, oil basically, is now doing something else, is now basically working in the field of batteries and renewable energy. The geochemical characterization will then be incorporated into models to assess the rate of resupply of lithium to geothermal fluids. So the idea is we only take up out enough that it can actually replenish itself to some degree. We'll look at how quickly might you expect the resource to be regenerated. Is it centuries, decades, Brown said? Those chemical reaction rates will depend on where in the rock lithium is stored pretty strongly, so it can help create a predictive tool. This work will complement geochemical studies being conducted by researchers in Europe who are also investigating the potential of geothermal brines for supplying lithium. This project has really strong industry support. That's the interesting thing to see. Several companies have started pilot operations at the Salton Sea to extract lithium, including Berkshire Hathaway Energy, BHE, and Controlled Thermal Resources, Berkeley Lab projects with both under grants from the California Energy Commission. For this new project, Berkeley Lab and UC Riverside will use data from companies active in the area as well as published documents, and field data from the state of California's geologic energy management databases. We need better data on the chemistry of the brines and their lithium content and how it's distributed in terms of position and depth in the geothermal field, McKibbin said. We've asked the geothermal companies to share their brine data with us. Pat and his group will put that in a database. Then if we can use the database to correlate lithium concentration with things like temperature, chlorinity, and other physical and chemical parameters, we can actually predict how much lithium might be in brine in parts of the field that haven't been completely drilled out yet. BHE has pledged to work with the research team. BHE Renewables supports this research effort and looks forward to assisting Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory with this important study, said Jonathan Weisgall, BHE's Vice President of Government Relations. The vision is that lithium from the geothermal field located near the Salton Sea will one day form the basis for a new domestic battery industry in the US. 
generating much needed economic growth in Imperial County, the county with the lowest per capita income in California, and also giving the US true energy independence. We need to get students to understand they can have very lucrative careers involving green energy, McGibbon said. This is one opportunity to do that. Now, obviously, Tesla is taking a different approach. They have a field where they are aiming to extract lithium from clay. If you combine both of these, if both of these options actually worked out, well, we'd have more than enough lithium than we need than we need right now for at least the next 20, 30 years. That's the good news here. Now, the same thing is going on right now in Germany near Frankfurt, where an existing thermal power station will be transformed to extract lithium. Energy wise, it's going to provide more energy to produce the lithium than it actually needs to extract it. Now, when it comes to batteries, I don't think we're ever going to really have a shortage of lithium. Why is that? While it's true, we might have a shortage of many things, including cobalt, nickel, maybe even phosphate one day, although I don't think so. Lithium is unlikely to be one because there's so many different places it can be found, even can even be extracted from seawater. Now, while lithium is abundant, the search really comes down to cost, the cost to extract the lithium and also the cost on the environment. In other words, the impact and the ease of processing lithium into its final product in order to be cost competitive. Now, the great thing about these kinds of projects, though, is that the energy needed to pump the fluid, in other words, to extract the lithium, is clearly trivial compared to the thermal energy that's actually stored in the fluid, or it would not actually be a thermal energy plant in the first place. The lithium is just the additional profit as the brine was pumped to the surface to extract the heat, not the lithium. So the great thing is this lithium is really basically a byproduct of the thermal energy plant itself. Now, while this is one of just many different projects going on around the world, and even one of many different projects going on to extract or potentially extract lithium in the United States, the reality is that lithium production is increasing drastically. So if you've ever wondered, is there not enough lithium for batteries? Well, actually there is, and we shouldn't ever really have a problem with having enough lithium. That's the great news. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.